in this mid-length scissor cut tutorial, I'll walk you through this textured 90s Britpop look. There's plenty of technique to learn and things to discuss along the way. You'll learn how to cut hair long with scissors and the tricky parts like cutting around the ears and the fringe. I always scissor cut on wet hair. If I pull the top out of the way and grip it with hair grippers, that will give me access to all these sections at the side here. You can see from the diagram where I'm going to be picking up my sections. When I pick up my sections, I take enough hair to fill the teeth of the comb, as that is quite manageable for the scissors. This is a length removal method, which I will refine when I reach the back using scissor over comb. For these sections though, make sure that you pull them out at 90 degrees from the head, so you're just pulling it straight out from the head. You can either take a bit of the section that you've just cut with your new section to see how long you need to cut it, or you can estimate it with this technique because we are refining. Many seasoned barbers don't use a guideline, and if you feel confident you're getting it right, then work without it. Each line here represents where I intend to be making my scissor over comb cuts. I want to cover the entire side of the head, making sure I work all the way down to the ear. When you're scissor over combing, what you do is you make sure that the scissor is closed and slide it in underneath the hair. Working from top to bottom, you can place the comb underneath the scissor, catch the section, pull it out and trim. Now normally I get closer towards the bottom, but I want it long over the ears. So when I get to the ear, I'm going to pull it out and pull it about halfway down the ear and just let it relax. Now I like to do that, I like to let it relax, I don't want to pull it straight with my fingers because if you do that you could get what I would call recoil and it springs back up over the ear. This section uh, next to the one I just did, you can see I'm coming at a bit of an angle here and I'm working my way down onto the ear and by the time I get to the bottom the comb is almost at a 45 degree angle on the head so that I can leave hair covering the ear. In this area here, I feel like there's too much weight at the side. So I've pulled some hair out of the way over the ear and what I'm doing is I'm shortening the hair underneath it. And that's gonna make it a little bit lighter just at the front there where it frames the face. A little bit of final check in there on the ear and then we can move on to the back. Now, we need to take sections and this will be the pattern. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick up sections. Now, here's the one that I cut. This is the last one I cut on my way over. So I can take more and there is some hair to take off there. Now remember, you can estimate this, as I said, um, we are refining this with scissor over comb. So this is really a way to take down the bulk because sometimes when you're scissor over combing, it's too hard to scissor over comb. The hair starts collapsing on the comb. Um, I'm gonna take a few more at the bottom here because I wanna work my way all the way down to the bottom. And the reason I've got this awkward here is that I can't get in at the correct angle here with the scissor because the tripod for the camera is in the way and it's where my arm wants to be. I should be going straight along the finger with the scissor. So back on to scissor over comb. Now that we've taken the bulk down, I can work my way down. As I get down to the bottom here, I don't want to remove all the length. I want hair overhanging the hairline. Remember that the final look of this cut is gonna be a mid-length, messy textured look. So we want the hair beyond the hairline all the way around the hair. We don't want it tapered in. I'm just gonna find the point where the hair is long and carry on working my way around. And I'm just reducing the length using an estimate. I know that sounds absolutely crazy if you are still learning to cut hair, but over time, you will be able to estimate how much to take off. So back to scissor over comb. I've taken the bulk down and I can work my way down. Now, by the way, I do teach a scissor cutting course on Udemy. It's one hour long, it's a short course, it's quite cheap. And I'll leave a link for that down below in the description for this video. So if you are new to barbering and you're trying to learn scissor cutting, then that might be the course for you. There is a few 
little free sections at the start, so go and have a look. But scissor over comb is probably one of the most fundamental things that you can learn. So a little bit of work down at the bottom. His hair has this kind of like double point towards the sides of the nape. And I want to just um, work on them a little bit, although you'll see towards the end of the haircut, I'm still working on it at the very end because I just want to kind of like polish it and touch it up. What I'm doing is I'm working all the way around from the temple on the right hand side all the way around to the left hand side and the process is the bulk removal, remember where we're estimating how much hair to take off and then switching to scissor over comb. So once I complete each section I move on. This is me working at my normal speed, this is the way I work professionally. You don't have to work at this speed. Um, I kind of, I, I've been doing it so long that I know what I'm looking for, but if you need to find your guideline, if you need to see the hair that you cut in your previous section, just slow it down because the speed will come. We're getting round towards the other ear now and I need to be careful again to make sure that I pull the hair onto the ear as I work my way down. So let's get the length right first. I'm gonna estimate this and very quickly go all the way to the front. Haha, <laughs> that was quick. Okay, so scissor over comb working down towards the ear. This method actually evens up those vertical sections that we were taking. Pull, up, pull the hair onto the ear and then cut across the comb. You can see my client's chatting to me and his head is moving a little bit. Um, that's okay. Listen, you have to chat to your clients when you're in the barber shop. Otherwise, it's going to be incredibly boring. So heads do move. Uh, they're not model heads. Uh, and you just have to accept that there may be a bit of movement on your client's head. That's fine. You'll get used to that. Once you start cutting kids hair, that's when you're really going to get used to it because you get on to like live moving targets. A little bit of water just there, I want to get a bit more control and then I can thin down this little bit like I did on the other side so that when I pull the hair back over the top of it, it's not as heavy as it was. And that's looking a lot nicer there. I'm going to refine just on the ear here, make sure that there isn't any hair sticking out. I think that's enough hair over the ear for me. I don't really want to take any more off than that. On the top, what I'm going to do is pull the hair across the crown and then just comb it backwards uh, from the middle of the crown and forwards from the middle of the crown. And I'm going to cut this in what you would call three sections, almost like a fan shape, and I'm going to use it all the way to the front. So it'll be section one, two, three, and then I'm going to start moving forwards and this is how it's going to work. So I'll take my first section, pick that up, take my desired length off and I think that's leaving me plenty of hair and then I can step to the side of that then. So this will be my guide. If I want a guide, this is where it is. It's at the crown and when I work my way forward, I can use that to work out the hair length all the way to the front of the haircut. So let's just do this. I'm going to do this quite quick and basically use that guide one, two, three across the head, working my way forwards. This is a really good way to maintain consistency as you work your way towards the front because you're just following the hair, the length of the hair that you just cut uh, behind it. At the front, I'm just going to lift the fringe up and rest it on the comb. Now this is a great way to cut a fringe. Because of uh, the hair that we removed from behind it, it's not very heavy. Now the comb is a straight line, but you can see that his hair curves. So I don't want to put tension on that because when it recoils, it's not going to be straight. I'm going to rest it on the comb so that it's in a relaxed state. 
nibble across the front there and just trim that down and then at the other side just put the comb underneath again and there we have relaxed hair in a straight line because we're using the comb as our straight line. Don't be afraid to go back in and just tidy up little bits you know just like pick away at it and you might find that there's little hairs that need to be removed. Okay I'm going to dry this off and one of the things I do when I'm drying hair like this because I'm using dust is I want to use cold so once it's dry I'll use cold air to cool it down and um, there is more opportunity for it to cool down when we do our little clipper work so if I pull the hair to the side there and just trim underneath that hair that long hair on the hairline so what I'm doing is I'm getting the neck hair and not the head hair and I can comb the head hair back over the top of that and work on that little point remember those little points that were bothering me so I can just clip it over comb them but they're still longer than the hairline right let's put some dust on this get the dust all over whoops gone a bit wild there I'll get rid of that and this dust just kind of try and work it in don't uh, overwork it just let it kind of fall into the hair It gives a really good textured look. Now, I didn't use any texture scissor techniques. I just club cut this and look at the texture that I've got. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Tell me what you think. If you've got any questions, drop your questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you guys in my next video.